the U.S. Army to test and tire unmanned combat vehicles in simulated battle this year. A wargum that leaders called unprecedented and a big step toward refining the hardware and software that will one day enable rear robots to take the battlefield. In February 2022 the Army tested an RCVL demonstrator at the military training facility. It's equipped with a common remotely operated weapon station Javelin, Crows J, and a remote-controlled anti-tank missile launcher that can target and destroy a tank from 1.5 miles away. It also fires an M230LF lightweight 30mm cannon chain gun, an extremely lethal rapid-fire gun. Another demonstrator vehicle is the Ripsaw M5. Once a star of reality television but now owned by defense contractor Textron. Textron added an XM813 Bushmaster 30mm chain gun mounted in an unmanned turret to the Ripsaw and is supplying examples for RCVM trials. Ripsaw would probably be best paired with the Army Striker Brigade combat teams and their wheeled armored vehicles. Robotic Combat Vehicle Light, RCVL, will operate among infantry and engineers carrying supplies and heavy weapons. The RCVM, Robotic Combat Vehicle Medium, and RCVH, Robotic Combat Vehicle Heavy, will be larger heavier vehicles operating alongside main battle tanks and infantry fighting vehicles. The RCVL is a diesel-electric hybrid vehicle with a gross weight of roughly 85,000 pounds and a maximum payload of 7,000 pounds. The vehicle can travel at a speed as high as 4. The RCVM is also a diesel-electric hybrid vehicle and has a gross weight of 25,000 pounds. This vehicle can travel at high speeds of over 25 miles per hour and is also equipped with a 30mm cannon which is controlled remotely. RCV Heavy is the least clearly defined, it's meant to be a robotic tank with firepower and survivability comparable to the M1 Abrams but at less than half the weight 20 to 30 tons, versus 60 to 70 for Abrams depending on the model and armor kit. But why does the RCV Heavy need to be as survivable as an M1 tank? The heavies aren't mean to operate far ahead of the manned force but alongside, it's intended as a wingman maneuvering with the manned tanks. So it has to withstand the same intensity of attacks, you don't want a barrage of mid-caliber cannon fire that can strip the M1S of their RCVH escort.